Hey guys, Andrew Stevens here from the Andrew Stevens Golf Academy in Burlington, Kentucky. I uh, had a lot of students the last couple of weeks ask me about Matt Kuchar's practice swing. So I wanted to make a, uh, a little video here and just kind of talk about the difference between feel and real. And I think this is a great, uh, this is a great example of how what we're trying to feel like what we're doing with our golf swing is not actually what we're going to be doing with our golf swing. So I uh, found a clip of uh, Matt Kuchar playing a practice round um, on YouTube and so I just kind of want to go through his pre-shot routine and then how he swings the golf club. So what you will see here, he's taking a practice swing here prior to hitting this tee shot and if you watch the path of his golf club you are going to see this club is coming way from the outside and moving dramatically across that golf ball to the left. So if we were to actually draw some lines on this practice swing here, you're going to see here as he swings down, you're going to see that club get way outside the hands. The hands are moving dramatically into his body here and that club is moving extremely far to the left. So, you know, if we were to actually measure this on TrackMan, you know, I would say this is probably be somewhere between a, a 10 and 20 degree out to end club path. So obviously if that was Matt's natural club path, he, uh, he wouldn't be have a job on the PGA Tour. He'd be bagging groceries somewhere. So, you know, what you have to look at is this is not what Matt Kuchar is doing in his golf swing. This is what he's trying to feel like he's doing in his golf swing. So like most good players, Matt's miss is that club getting stuck behind him a little bit too much. So a better player's miss is generally going to be a hook where that club gets stuck too far from the inside. That club face is going to be a little bit close to path and that's going to equal our hook. So you've seen Tiger make similar practice swings to this as well. So you know all he's trying to do is really over exaggerate this feel of this club getting outside of his hands and then working across his body to the left. So now what we'll see if we go ahead and draw some lines on his actual swing here, um, what you're going to see is this club is going to look nothing like it looked in that rehearsal swing. So you'll see, you know, most of the look of this club coming out to end is mainly because the camera angle is just a little bit off here. But you'll see that club is working much more down the target line, maybe fractionally left, but certainly nothing like what you see here in his rehearsal swing where he looks like a 35 handicapper. So great difference between feel versus real. Matt's trying to feel that club head get much more outside of his hands so that he eliminates that stuck feeling. So it's a great way to work on a swing change to really over exaggerate the feel because you know a lot of times when we are making when we are making swing changes you know you're gonna have to feel like you gotta move that club about a mile to move it about an inch. So Great example here, feel versus real, not always the same thing. So hopefully this clears up any, any questions you might have when you see a tour player making a practice swing that looks nothing like their actual swing. It's more them trying to establish the feel of what they're trying to do versus what they actually want their swing to look like. So uh, thanks for uh, tuning in. Uh, check my website, www.andrewstevensgolf.com, for uh, the latest updates, tips, and drills.